I thought I would also tell you a little story. You know, everybody's mad about the Ohio State game, and so I'm hearing from fans, and everybody's mad at Bo, they're mad at me, they're mad at the players. And so, um, anyway, I, I just want you to know that coaching is not quite as easy as what you think. It's a lot easier when you're sitting up in the stands. And so anyway, uh, I'm going to go back quite a ways in my memory. And we were playing in the Liberty Bowl down in Memphis, back in 1977, I think it was, and uh, we weren't playing very well. And uh, we were actually playing uh, North Carolina, and we were behind. It was in the fourth quarter, wasn't much time left, and uh, and they were ahead, 17-14. And uh, all of a sudden, and they had the ball. They were in our territory. Kind of looked like the game was over, and they, they fumbled, and we recovered. And we had a quarterback that night, and Randy Garcia who was playing. And Randy came running over and he says, Coach, he said, you know, we've got a chance. He said, what do you want to do? I said, I don't know, Randy. I said, we've tried everything. Nothing's worked. I said, what do you want to do? He said, he couldn't think of anything either. <coughs> so our trainer was standing nearby, and he was afraid he weren't going to do anything. <laughs> so he spoke up. He said, well, why don't you run number eight to the right and seven to the left? I said, Randy, I said, that sounds as good as anything. And so Randy went out there. And we went eight to the right, went about 10 yards, seven to the left, about 12 yards, eight to the right, another good game, seven to the left, another good game, we just went eight and seven, right down the field, looked better than we had all night. Got a first down at the five yard line, went eight to the right, defensive end broke through, lost two yards. Seven to the left, defensive end on that side broke through, we lost two more yards. Eight to the right, we lost another yard, so now it's fourth and 10 at the 10. And we're just about out of time. And uh, so Randy began to look at me over on the sideline. And some of you may have done some coaching. You know, at least one gentleman has here. You might realize what I did at that time. I began to look up in the stands and I pretended I didn't see him. <laughs> and, uh, so pretty soon the team came out of the huddle and I began to look again. I was kind of interested in what might happen here. And uh, I could have sworn he gave the ball. So I am Hip. That was his real name, Isaiah Moses Hip. And I am ran in the middle of the line, about ten guys from North Carolina hit him. And I figured it's over, you know, I was fourth down, no time left, and uh, no game. And then I saw that Randy had made the greatest fake I'd ever seen. He hit the ball in his hip. Raised up, he threw the ball to Tim Smith, or split in, standing all by himself in the end zone. Last play of the game, we win 21-17. So we went in the locker room, meet with the press and everything. And again, those of you who have done any coaching to what I did at that point, I took full credit for the victory. <laughs> after, after everybody kind of filed out of the dressing room, I saw Randy was the last guy. He was standing over in the corner. And I called him over and said, Randy, I said, how in the world did you come up with that play at that time? He said, coach, he said, it wasn't that hard. He said, no, we're running eighth to right, seven to left. He said, yeah, and he said, that seemed to work pretty good. But then we got down there at the goal line. Didn't seem like it was working any, very well anymore. And I said, I noticed that too. <laughs> so I didn't know what to do. So I just got back there in the huddle, fourth down, and said, I uh, added eight and seven together. And I came up with play number 14, and that's what I called. <laughs> I said, Randy, you think of it. I said, eight and seven is a 14, is 15. He said, you know, Coach, if I was as smart as you are, we'd lost the ball game. <laughs> so, so anyway, 